Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at a quick example of um, calculating reservation wage given a utility function um, and uh, consumption. So let's take a look. In this problem we have Cindy, we have utility coming from consumption and leisure, and the utility function takes on this multiplicative form C times L. So, uh, the functional form implies marginal rate of substitution is C over L, right? That's MRS is equal to the marginal utility of labor over the marginal utility of consumption. The first derivative of this with respect to L is just C, and the first derivative of utility with respect to C is just L. So that's how... That's how we get this marginal utility, uh, or a marginal rate of substitution. Okay, and then just a quick reminder about how we think about reservation wage from the labor-leisure theory. Um, if we had some point where we're starting, oops, um, then there will be some level, uh, some wage passing through this utility that is exactly tangent at that endowment point. And at that point, they are going to spend all of their time on leisure, no time working to obtain consumption. Um, but if that wage were to increase by just a touch, then the new, uh, the new optimal endowment would have a little bit of uh, work, right? So this wage right here is the reservation wage. And if the wage increases ever so slightly higher, they will work. Um, but otherwise, the reservation wage is that wage where the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the wage when the worker has all leisure and no labor. Okay, so um, so let's let's put that up here. Reservation wage is the wage at which, or it is it is the marginal rate of substitution. The slope of this indifference curve when hours worked is zero. Okay, so right at that endowment point, whether it's whether it's right there or whether it's uh, if they don't have any they don't have any endowment, some indifference curve which passes right through there. Okay, if the wage is just a touch higher, then they'll allocate their first. Here they have zero hours working. If it's a touch higher they'll allocate their first hour of work to the labor market. Okay, so with this rule, then we can quite simply calculate the reservation wage. So when, so we calculate marginal rate of substitution, which we know is C over L. And Consumption, when H is equal to zero, uh, the only consumption there is, right, C is equal to WH plus V, wage times zero hours worked plus V is just V. So consumption at, the, at H equals zero is only this initial endowment of 660 over Leisure, total leisure, and in this case, it's 110 hours. And so we have 660 divided by 110. That means that reservation wage is going to be $6. Right, and that's that slope here. Okay, if, the, if it goes up to... You know, six dollars in a penny, or say seven dollars, right? Uh, that'll be just enough to get the to get here, Cindy, uh, to to work their first hour.
Okay, so reservation wage is the wage at which marginal rate of substitute uh, is the marginal rate of substitution when the person is not working. Okay, thanks. In the next video, we're going to look at uh, labor leisure, um, optimal consumption and optimal hours worked uh, given a utility function and uh, calculating the budget line. Okay, thanks.